Today we'll test Nikon's Firmware Update 3 for the Z6 and Z7 cameras new animal detection autofocus to see how much of the frame needs to be filled to make the AF work on dogs. Then we'll see what happens when your subject is a human but your camera is set to animal detection. Following that, we'll put a dog and a person in the shot and try both animal and human face detection modes on the two of them to see who prevails at the different settings. I fixed it. In our previous video testing Nikon's version 3 firmware update for Z6 and Z7 cameras, we focused on animal face detection and made some conclusions about what conditions the AF algorithm favors. Our success was best when we had strong lighting, the dog was looking directly at the camera, and the animal's head was upright. We discovered several conditions that challenged the autofocus, which if you know in advance, you can accommodate for. I'll put a link to that review above and also at the end of this video. My tests today were done using the Nikon Z6 with the 24-70 f4 zoom lens and recorded in 4K on my iPhone so you can see the camera's control screen autofocus selector in action. Please stick around until the end of the video where we've added a few camera tests just for fun. Animal detection. We're in camera mode and it picks up her eyes. There's my girl, so we are close up. And this is dog eye detection in photo mode. We're gonna go to a profile view. So this is close up, we're about four feet away. And you could see that when you go into profile, it kind of loses that lock. And at a distance, you can see it's still tracking her eyes when she's looking. In profile, it's gone. Well, it tries to grab. So a three-quarter view, and it works much better. Change our angle. And it's doing a pretty good job. Look at that. Let's do a test. We're gonna back up and we're gonna see if it can do face detection while the dog's coming toward us. All right, we are at about 30 feet away and we are not able to get lock. So I'm gonna go right up until we can lock on. There we go. We just got lock. Now let's see if I go wide, will we keep lock? Not so much. Right, let's zoom in again. Okay, she can come, this is perfect. There we are. And we lost, we lost lock, but it picked her right back up when she picked up her head. Can you sit? Good girl. For the next test, we are going to see how well the animal detection works side by side with a human. We're using animal face detection on a human target. Sarah, can you turn a quarter turn to your right? Give me a little bit of profile. Now, it's looking for her eye, but it's also switching to just generic autofocus. We are not detecting human face here. Look back at the camera. All right, it picked up her eyes. We are now in video mode. This is animal detect mode. And we've got our lovely model, Sarah, in the image. And I apologize for the reflections. We're just shooting the back of the screen with the iPhone so you could see the focus point. And it's doing all right. Okay, let's go uh, turn full profile, turn towards the dog. There we go. And it is seeing, ah, it's kind of losing you. Look up. All right, so when we look up, that made a big difference. Uh, in animal detect mode, it wants to see that human face looking right at you. I'm gonna switch back to photo mode and we're gonna see what happens when we put 
an animal and a human in the same frame. We're, we're gonna see if it favors one over the other. All right, we are back in photo mode and the dog's in profile. I'm gonna have you both look over here. Sarah, look over here. Coda, look over here. <laughs> and it's picking up a spot on your jacket. Actually, it's picking up the space. This is really interesting. It's picking up the space under your arm. It's seeing the grass as a light point on a dark field. Very interesting. Okay, so that's definitely a, a weirdness to the software. We're gonna go over here. All right, so Coda. We're gonna make it really obvious. Look right over here. Stay, but look over here, because I have more treats. All the things we do, okay. Yeah, you can get a treat too. Okay, so both looking right here. In this mode, this mode is obviously favoring. When she turned sideways, Sarah picked you up just for a moment. Coda, I need you to look here. Coda, Coda, I have a treat. If you're a good girl, you'll get a treat. Sarah, look over here too. Do you both want a treat? They both want a treat. Okay, so the mode is definitely favoring dog over human. I'm gonna switch to video mode now. And it is, doesn't know who to pick up. Sarah, it's got you. So I'm gonna pan until you're out of the picture. Hey, Coda. Coda, I need your face. There we go. So once it gets the dog face, it seems to lock on until we lose it. It wants to favor the dog. All right, let's test this theory, shall we? Let's hold that shot. All right, so you just watch right here and I'm going to switch to uh, human mode instead of animal mode and we'll see if it makes a difference. Autofocus, A4, face and eye detection on. All right. Let's see what this gives us. And just like that, oh, it locked on. It locked on to your face, Sarah. So what that's saying is that the algorithm does tell a difference between a human and a dog. Okay, so in face detection mode, face and eye detection mode in video, it is locking on much better. Okay, we're gonna switch to photo mode now. Look right here, peeps. It is definitely favoring the human eye. Very nice. Well, I think this is a nice test. I think that this is an interesting conclusion. Real quick, I'm gonna switch. Just keep the same. We're gonna keep the same framing. And let's see what it favors. Well, it's remembering the human eye. Let's see. Interesting. It did retain the human eye. Now let me see if I frame out here. If I lose focus, if I come back. Now this time we're on dog, but it's going to going to human. All right, let me get lock on her. And now we'll include you into the picture. Look right up here, Sarah. So when it sees eyes, I guess it remembers what it is that it's shooting. Because now the eye detect is on her. What have we learned? First, the animal face detection works great on dogs, but you can't be too far away. In my test, the animal's face needed to fill at least 6% of the screen. The AF does best when both eyes are visible, but once locked on, will track your subject in profile. When face detection drops, it looks like the camera depreciates gracefully to regular object autofocus. Animal autofocus will work to detect the human face, but I think that's best left for emergencies only, as the human eye and face detection is far superior for people. In my tests with both a dog and a person, 
Either mode works, but I still favor human AF for combined subject photos. My biggest difficulty with two subjects wasn't the face or eye detection, but rather my lack of depth of field. Shooting from about six feet away from my subjects at f4, I couldn't get focus on the dog's eyes while Sarah's eyes were sharp. Even though it seemed like I was about the same distance from both subjects, when I reviewed my photos, I was a little disappointed. The moral here is to periodically review your work in the field where you can make adjustments and don't assume the camera is doing all of the thinking for you. As promised, here's some bonus footage to test the animal autofocus just for fun. Before I go, thank you very much for watching. Let others know what you think about the video with the thumbs up or thumbs down buttons. And please leave a comment or question in the space below because I love hearing what you have to say. Subscribing is optional but appreciated. And if you're a car enthusiast, please check out my other channel, Mike Fixed It. I'll put a link to my Insta360 camera road test above if you want to check that out. Hey Coda, can you roll the bonus footage? Good dog! Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Action. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. Got face detection. Come on back. And back. Towards the camera, nice and slow. Face detection. The eyes aren't fooling you. All right, we're gonna try the same thing. Look at that, that was a good test. That really pulled out. Okay, we're gonna try the same thing in photo mode. Now I'm getting no face detection. There we go. All right, we could not be fooled by Cookie Monster. Come on, find a face. So we're in animal detection. Now let's try going to face detection. Okay. Back to video. All right, and this time it went right to your face. It knows knows what part of this picture is the human face. Let's see if it picks you up. Yep, right away. There it is. Look at that. There's no fooling it. Face detection solid when you have it set for humans. Even if you're trying to throw it a curve. <laughs>